All right, folks, off to my local lake this morning. It's a uh, cooler morning. It's in the 40s. We've had some nice days where it's been up in the uh, upper 70s. It's cooled off a little bit here. We've got a cold front coming through tonight that's colliding with a warm front that's coming up out of the Gulf. And the bottom line is we're probably going to have some pretty bad storms, uh, maybe even some tornadoes uh, in the southeast. Here in the Carolinas, we're probably going to be under a tornado watch this evening. Uh, I know this stuff is coming through, I believe, the Mississippi, Louisiana area this morning. And we'll be up here overnight. That's the bad thing. It's coming through in the middle of the night. So Fishing is going to be out for tomorrow. Uh, it's going to start raining overnight. But actually, it's going to start raining this afternoon, probably while I'm on the water. And then tonight it's going to get, it's when the violent stuff comes through and tomorrow will be bad. So um, I'm going to try to get out today and catch some fish. Fishing has been decent, dragging some baits. I'm going to see what the wind's like. If the wind's up any, my last trip out here was kind of windy. I did some drifting. I picked off some fish. Uh, it wasn't crazy, crazy, but it was a good bite. So uh, happy with that. Lots of 10, 11, 12, 13 pound fish. No super big ones, but you know, some good fish nonetheless. So we'll see what's happening today. If it's dead calm, I may go anchor up for just a little bit and see what I can pick off. Uh, they've been pulling some water. They've actually been dropping the lake a bunch uh, because it's supposed to, with all the rain, we're supposed to get like an inch uh, to maybe an inch and a half of rain in some of these storms. So that will be a significant increase in the water across the entire river basin. So uh, to keep down on any flooding or anything. They've dropped a lot of stuff the past couple of days. So we'll see what it looks like when we get to the ramp and uh, see if we can pop the fish. All right guys, just dropped the boat in the water. Doesn't look like any water's moving. Uh, looks glass slick out there. I was looking at the buoy. I don't see anything anything moving. They may have pulled everything down that they were going to pull down last night. So uh, it's beautiful right now but it's going to get a little bit ugly later. I got my uh, rubber boots on so uh, and a rain suit. We'll see how bad it gets. For now it's nice. Sometimes the hardest part of my day is figure out where I'm going. There's a lot of options on this lake. You got river, you got lake, you got humps, you got deep stuff. It's gonna be tough to decide. Well, it looks like decent water temperatures, about 64 degrees. Uh, they've stayed in the 60s, which is good. We're at that time where uh, you know, the overnight lows generally have not been that low. We've had a couple of upper 30 nights, a uh, night last night in the 40s, but our days have still been uh, up in the uh, 70s. So that's brought that daily mean temperature of water staying up. So it's getting into flathead time. We should be catching some flatheads. I'm in a place that uh, generally has some flatheads. There's some structure over here underwater. I've got baits around it. Uh, I've got some up shallow where maybe there's some fish feeding up here on some of these uh, shoals. And I'm just going to kind of cover the water column, see what we can find. There's a lot on this planter board. I don't know if he stayed hooked up or not. Yeah. I don't know where exactly this sucker is going. Getting over here near the bank. Small fish. Okay, good blue. Good blue. Better blue than I thought he was. It's a good fish. Let's hook that bait good. There we go. There. Nice fish. Get him back in the water alive. Good color on him. Up halfway close to the bank. 
Boom. Boom. Ah, I think I got one going here on this rod. Yes, sir. Hooked up. Making a drag up into this creek here. Hadn't fished up in here in a long time, so decided to come up in here and see what's in here. Got that one fish out there toward the mouth. Now I'm up into here a little bit. Put this back down. It's like an eater size blue. bigger bait all right we'll take him good one there let him go I'm not keeping on the day i kept some the other day to eat that have been a good size that's about the upper end of what i want definitely like the i don't know three to five three maybe six pounders i don't like the big thick ones not to mention all the pollutants they got in them Show you the rig real quick. These are some rattles somebody sent to me to try out. Got a head, Santee rig, Bone Town sinkers. These are drifting weights. They make a couple of different sizes and stuff. They're flexible. About two ounces. Good little flexible weight. Well, I made a pretty good pull back here into the creek. I think I put, I don't think I clicked off that last one four fish in the boat not many it's not on fire especially to have come as far as i've come back in this creek uh, i'm marking some stuff but it's not on fire uh, it's not loaded there's not a lot of bait right here i may pull back into this shallow part and may, may take me another 30 45 minutes to get back there just to see if there's anything super shallow i don't normally drift through shallow water or troll through shallow water but i've got planer boards out so i may give it a shot and just see uh, I may run, I may double up on the planter boards on each side and put out four boards. Just see if there's anything back shallow. Also see if there's some crappie in here. I got a rod down. I've been picking off a few as I've been coming in here. But uh, not as good as I thought it would be. I thought there would be a lot more scattered fish. So I'm not sure exactly what's up. Uh, all balancing it out. It's almost 11. And uh, trying to keep an eye on the skies and the rain and the storms coming. So so far so good this clouds are rolling in you can tell stuff's moving it's going to get interesting this afternoon and i want to be off the water before that happens all right got one going on the plane aboard this may be a decent fish he popped it over pretty good that one over there out of the way man i pulled a long way back in here coming through a very stumpy and hangy area. Some rain starting to develop on the radar. Let's see where that fish is. Trying to get him to the outside of these rods. I think I can, feels like a blue. Oh, there we go. It's a good hit. I like the way that thing hit. There he is. Good looking blue cat. Sucker. Looks like he's barely hooked. I couldn't resist that perch he hit. Yeah, That's a good fish. Looks like a male. Starting to get a little coloration to him. Not much. A little bit, just kind of dark. Good blue cat. 
Get him back alive. He hit it like he was angry. That's nice. That board blew up and the rod went. I'm running out of time. It looks like the rain's starting to develop. Not seeing any lightning on the lightning tracker yet. But with this warm air in place, it may start. So we're eh, only about noon. So I think worst case what I'll do is I'll drag this for another little ways. See if I pick off any fish in the shallow water. And then scoot back down toward the boat ramp so that if some lightning develops, I can get the heck out of here quick and don't have a long run. I made a pretty long run up the river this morning. And uh, that way I'm a little closer to ducking out of here. But I think we may be hooked up on one here. No, did it pull loose? I think it did. Yep. Damn. Or did it? Let's see. Nope, he's there. I think he's into a bunch of other lines. I'll get this off of here because this will be a tangle mess. We don't. Boom. There he goes. I was sitting there thinking that's got to be one of these fish. And he hit the outside planer board. Oh, there he goes. There's got to be one good one back here. I think I'm going to have a tangled mess when I'm done. Why is the boga always on the other side of the boat? That's a good fish. It's a good fish. Why is the boga always on the other side of the boat when I need it? Is a good one. Good shallow water fish. Excellent. Excellent specimen. Tattoo on his back. Yeah. Good fish. I'm back alive. There you go. Planer board paid off back here. Uh, that fish hit uh, one of the planers furthest one out back here in uh, what looks like four feet of water. So uh, paid off with a decent fish. Skies are getting darker. Uh, looks like the rain's on its way. Just looked at the radar, it's getting closer, so I'm probably gonna pull these in and get out of here. May try to get back out of here on Monday after all this rain comes through. It's, uh, we'll see, see what the weather looks like. It's gonna be a big inflow of water. Uh, springtime, that can mean a uh, good bite. So, uh, might be back out here with a little aftermath of uh, what this storm brings us. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're gonna like.